Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Word allows you to insert various shapes into your document. For example, you could place a circle around important information in a document. If you use Word to create marketing flyers, newsletters, or other types of publications, you may want to insert various types of shapes to add visual interest to your documents. Inserting shapes into your documents is a very easy task. Just click the Insert tab in the ribbon, and then click the Shapes button that appears in the Illustrations group. You can then view a drop-down menu of all of the various shapes that you can insert. Roll your mouse pointer over the shape that you want to insert, and then click it to select it. Your mouse pointer will appear as a black crosshair when you place it back over the document. Decide where you want the graphic to appear in your document and then click and drag across the area in the document where you want the object to appear. The object will then be inserted into your document. You also have a few techniques available for you to use that can assist you in creating your shapes. For example, you can hold down the Shift key as you click and drag while you're drawing in order to create a perfect version of the selected shape. For example, holding down the Shift key when drawing lines will make a line perfectly straight. You can also create perfect circles and squares by simply using this method in conjunction with either the oval or rectangle shape as needed. If you don't care about setting the size of the shape as you insert it, then you can actually use a different method to insert a selected shape. Now using this method, you still start by selecting the shape from the ribbon using the Shapes button as you normally would. Then you hold down the Shift key on your keyboard. Then you simply click once at the place in the document where you want to position the upper left corner of the shape. Word will insert a shape with a default size into the position at which you clicked. Now once you have inserted a selected shape into your document, the mouse pointer returns to its default behavior and you exit Word's drawing mode. However, sometimes you may want to draw several of the same shapes without having to go back and reselect the same shape from the Shapes button over and over again. In this case, you may want to lock Word into its drawing mode as you select your desired shape from the Shapes button's drop-down menu. To do this, simply right-click on the shape that you want to draw within the Shapes button's drop-down menu instead of clicking it. From the pop-up menu that appears, Click the Lock Drawing Mode command. Now you can return to your document and draw as many instances of that selected shape as you wish. Note that you can cancel the Drawing Mode lock by simply pressing the Escape key on your keyboard or by right-clicking into the blank area of the document. When you draw an object, the object should appear as being already selected. However, if it's not selected, then you need to click it in order to select it prior to formatting it. So once the shape has been selected, you will see the Format tab of the Drawing Tools Contextual tab appear within the ribbon. This tab provides you with several formatting options for the selected object. We will next examine what formatting options we have available to use when dealing with shapes you will find that many of the options are similar to the options that we have when formatting pictures. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.